Marquez with Superior Gaming TCGS San Jose Regionals with third place winner Russell Novak Burdick. Uh, what'd you play, bro? I played Orcus Warrior. Whoa, okay, bro. Uh, you got any shout outs right off the bat? Uh, yeah, shout out to the boy, you already know. Uh, shout out to all the NorCal <laughs> guys. Uh, <laughs> uh, shout out to all the Sacramento boils and everything, but yeah, just for all the support and helping me play test and everything, get ready for the event. Awesome, bro. Let's get right into the deck profile. All right, so I played three Harpoor because this is the best one. This is the one that you want to draw. Um, it's actually really good to draw because you just discard it and then it lets you go full combo. Uh, two Nightmare because you have to have at least two because it's a special off the Mermaid. Just also decent card unless you dump anything uh, one simple one wand uh, wand is probably the worst one to draw just because it doesn't really do anything simple can be like okay to draw but it's also just kind of bad to draw so I just decided to play one you could play two but I wouldn't like it uh, and then for your warrior engine you got the three connector with your one aqua dolphin um, this engine's broken I took out bells out of people's hands it baits out so much hand traps to make you go mermaid like it's just this is this is so good um, for your other warriors you got one arm again one greffer um, you'll see why you need to play both but uh, they're, they're really good just as a normal summon to dump uh, especially greffer uh, and then for your phantom knights this is the correct ratio if anyone tells you to play any different ratio they're wrong two and one is correct because if you draw cloak and you're playing one one you can't do the full comp so you have to play 2-1. Uh, and then the one of Sky Blaster. I drew this card actually a decent amount of times today. It definitely helped. Uh, the card's really strong yeah. still. Uh, and then the only hand trap I played main deck was 3 Ash. Couldn't fit anything else, and this is the best one in the game. Uh, spells, obviously 3 Cobble of the Grave because you want your mermaid to resolve. Uh, yeah. 3 of the best card in my deck, Instant Fusion. This one, more games than any other card in my entire deck. I cannot tell you how many games I won with just this card. Don't worry, he's gonna tell us. Three engage for your drones. Um, you know the the deck is, you know, one card engines is really strong. So this is a one card engine that, and then the fact that this is a warrior, the drones is actually relevant. You'll see why. And then the spice is the one eagle booster. Uh, this is your fourth call by the grave because. They, they every single person hand traps mermaid so you just chain this to target mermaid and then their hand trap doesn't do anything uh, your two one ofs for the searches uh, babbles you pretty much get this every turn and then just a pot of greed is pretty strong and then your uh, power one ofs obviously monster reborn rota for any of your warriors foolish just because your whole deck activates in the graveyard so it's nice and then the equip spells and you'll see why I play equip spells but the reason these are good with this engine is three of these are monster reborns and this one's a free discard for mermaid pretty much every single time so free keeping your hand big as well as monster reborn is strong and then the only traps is two fog blade and then the one counter um, you don't really need to play any more I thought about playing two counter just because like this card's broken but I don't know it's it's all right but the main deck was super solid. It was 43 cards. I would like to play 40, but mm -hmm. I couldn't cut anything. There was just nothing to cut, unfortunately. Everything you needed for kind of engine. Okay. And then uh, extra deck, I guess. Uh, you play one Hayate and one Kagari. The Hayate is relevant because you sometimes just need the down arrow um, to just be able to combo. And then the Kagari obviously just gets back the drones. Yeah. Uh, your two Mermaid, you have to play two because sometimes the first one gets stopped and you can just make the second one. Uh, two Phoenix. I was playing originally one Cerberus, one Phoenix, but uh, like the Cerberus would always just get wasted, so I just decided to do two Phoenix because back row removal is good. Um, the one of Soul Day. This is the spice for the Warrior list. Like this card, like every single time I would go Connector into uh, Aqua Dolphin, they 100% of the time they thought I was going mer uh, for the Nightmare, and I made this, and every single person was surprised. Um, your two Galatea because she's beautiful. Uh, old teeth. Yeah, <laughs> mm. And then uh, your one long Grisu. It's good. You make it most games, I would say, but like it's not as relevant. It's just nice to send link cards, and it can't be destroyed by card effects. Uh, your one Rusty because you only need one, but the card's broken. Uh, one Boral Sword for the OTKs. It really gets in there. And one Ding Grisu. You could play two, but I felt like one was solid because you're always just bringing it back from the grave, anyways. <laughs> Uh, and then the spice for the instant fusion. So when you're going second, you summon TER, take their Colossus, take other stuff. Uh, it was, I can't tell you how many times someone went just double Colossus. I went this, take the first one, and then Dingreesu send the other one and just OTK'd them. And then the Winda, this is 
the absolute best card. I've won so many games today off this card. Basically, all you do is at the end of your play with your Rusty and everything, you leave the XYZ on the board instead of linking it away. Special window with the Instant Fusion, and then during the end phase, it would die from Instant Fusion, but you protect it with the XYZ. So your opponent only has one special summon, they lose. Um, there was not a deck, there was literally every single time, yeah, every single time I resolved Instant Fusion and summon window, I won. There was not a game that I did not win where that happened. Wow, all right. And then side, uh, just pretty simple. I played uh, two Lancia for mirror match. Shuts under. every down. Yeah, I mean, the card's just broken. It's, yeah. it's really strong. Uh, two Banker Tops, just, you know, really broken card. It's really good. Yeah. Um, your two targets for your Super Follies. Um, basically, if you're going second you and you want to side in the Super Follies, you side out the Assault Day and all the Equip Spells, and then you side this in for the Assault Day, and then your other side deck cards are your Equip Spells that you're taking out. So I, I made Starving Venom a bunch. I never made this. I actually didn't play a single Solomon Great. I played a bunch of Striker and a bunch of Thunder and a bunch of Orcus. So it was uh, Starving Venom was really good. Uh, three Twin for Mystic Mind because I have zero main deck outs against that deck. Thank God I did not play a single one. You're lucky, dude. Yeah, I played a <laughs> Striker Mind, but like yeah. it was irrelevant because I did have the Twin Twister. But I ended up losing that game due to an unfortunate yeah. series of events. And then. Two impermanence, just because it's really good against the mirror. You know, stopping uh, <laughs> mermaid is really good. Just all around a solid card, and then two reboot again for Mystic Mind and just other trap decks. Um, oof. I actually don't think I ever cited this in, but I don't regret playing it because if I did play a mind deck, I would have liked to. I would have cited it. All right, cool, man. Thanks for the deck profile, bro. Anything else? Uh, no. That's all about right. it. All right, thank you very much.